All right, what's up, fam? WSL Production. You got Wally Scott here. Hey, I'm going to show you a quick little tip that I use in FL Studio when I'm trying to sync a sample that is not the same as my project uh, BPM. All right, it's just a little trick. Some of you may know it, but if you don't, when you uh, see what, how to do this, uh, it's a, a helpful little tip, okay? So what I've got, I've got a project at 140. Uh, I've got a drum beat, and I'm going to play that beat for you. This is what the beat, I'm not going to play all of the beat. I'm going to play about 32 bars of the beat, or just a few bars of the beat to let you hear what i got. All right, that's uh, that's the beat. Uh, it goes out to about uh, 108 bars, but we just played about 32 bars for you. All right, so what I'm going to show you is, okay, what we're in, we're in um, getting our samples out of uh, Unison's Blueprint, uh, the Beatmaker's Blueprint, all right? And we're going to go into the uh, Trap Loops, okay, and get a sample out of that. Uh, okay, like I was telling you, my tempo of my pad, uh, project is at 140. All right, we're going to listen to a few samples here out of the blueprint, and then we're going to pick one, and I'm going to show you the little time stretching trick to sync the uh, sample with your project. All right, and then I, I'm using the uh, Akai Fire if you, you know, to scroll through the. Uh, samples in the browser <laughs> said the uh, projects at 140 up here as you can see and the loop here right is at 154 right so what we're gonna do we're gonna drive, we uh, put that on the timeline right okay and if I play it it's gonna be out of sync and I'm gonna give you a sample <laughs> Channel five, okay. Bring that down. Oh, yeah, you can tell it is way off. All right, all right. So, what you're gonna do. You see this little wave icon right here. It's going to be on every sample that you bring in. Okay. If you hit that little wave, okay, it's going to bring this menu up. And you want to go down to where it says fit to tempo. Okay. Hit that one. Okay. You got a list of things here. Okay. 
you can do it if the sample is from uh, 50 to 100 BPM, 75 to 150, 200, 100, 200, uh, 150 to 300. But that's not what we're going to do. What we're going to do, we're going to type in the tempo to have it sync to the timeline. Okay? So what we're going to do is showing that it's 144. And we know that the sample tempo is 154. So what we're going to do, we're going to type in 154. Okay? You got 154 right here. And then we're going to hit enter. And we hit enter. If you noticed, that adjusted to the timeline. And it actually went where it was off. It went to 16 bars. Okay. And then you can use your paint tool and just drag it on out. Okay. So right now, this sample should be synced with the tempo of the project. All right. And here we go. That's how you sync a sample to your project's tempo. All right. I do appreciate you watching the video. Like I say, give this video a thumbs up. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Okay. And the bell notification that you are reminded the next time I have a video. All right. This is Wally Scott fam. I do appreciate you watching. Watching. Peace out and have a great day.